Welcome back. You're at the War Room. Uh, it's Freedom Command Central with your co-hosts, Roger Stone and Owen Schroyer. Oh, and I do want to move to the phones because I find with so much news coming down, the Michael Cohn controversy. Talk radio, great again. It's the War Room with Roger Stone at Infowars.com forward slash show. Welcome back. You're at the War Room. Uh, it's Freedom Command Central with your co-hosts, Roger Stone and Owen Schroyer. Oh, and I do want to move to the phones because I find with so much news coming down, the Michael Cohn controversy, the, the DNC lawsuit, the Comey memos, many, many InfoWarriors have questions on their mind, and we, of course, are glad to try to answer them. So uh, why don't you shout out the cell phone number for us, and uh, let's take some calls. All right, give us a call at 888-201-2244, 888-201-2244. Questions for Roger Stone, questions for myself, or if you just want to make a general point, we will take your call at 888-201-2244. Roger, I'm so glad you brought up that subject of discussion last segment where now the Democrats have opened up an investigation into themselves essentially Perhaps they don't even have the ability to think two moves ahead. I mean, seriously, Roger, they must really not have the ability to think two moves ahead if they didn't even understand how this would ultimately fall back into their hands in the sense that they're going to have to turn over those servers as evidence to prove their claim that it was Russia from the beginning. And so Trump tweets out last Friday, latest DNC lawsuit against my campaign could actually be a good thing We'll finally get to investigate those servers. So my guess is now they're either the servers have been smashed and they're either gone or they've been tampered with somehow. But, bleached. Bleached. Or bleached, like Hillary Clinton said. And then she says, oh, like wiped with a towel? Hee <laughs> hee like, like she has no idea what's going on. This is a, this is a, a cl world-class criminal. She knows how to erase a hard drive, I promise you. But, Roger, here's what the Democrats did. The Democrats have now gone all in. They've gone all in, Roger. Their hand is showing on a bluff. The Democrats just went all in with their hand showing on a bluff, and everyone else at the table is about to call them on their bluff. Here come the cards, Roger. They don't have a chance at winning. We've got pocket aces over here. We've got king ace on suit over here. We've got, you know, pocket queens over here. The Democrats are sitting there with 2-7 off suit, and they just went all in, card showing. So what happens next, Roger, as we're aggregating these calls? What happens to the Democrats next as they're getting called on their bluff by everyone else at the table? What this lawsuit shows, Owen, is that DNC now stands for desperately need cash. This is a fundraising mechanism. This is about the grabbing the phony headlines. What this tells me, is that Robert Mueller's inquiry into Russian collusion is running out of steam. He can't find any conspiracy, collusion, coordination with the Russian state. So this is an attempt to recycle the same phony claim yet again. What's ironic here is that this lawsuit is a knockoff of a lawsuit that's already been filed by Project Democracy, the Obama-led group that is suing me and uh, Donald Trump in the federal courts in the District of Columbia. We've already moved for dismissal of that bogus, baseless, meritless lawsuit. Uh, what you have here is a, a, a wish list where, where the left sees things as they want to be. They offer no evidence, no proof, nothing that would hold up in a court of law. It's all conjecture, supposition, projection, uh, 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 speculation, but no facts. Uh, and uh, there is a precedent for this. The Democratic National Committee sued uh, President Richard Nixon, the Committee to Reelect the President, the Republican National Committee, back in 1972 in a civil suit over the break in of the Watergate. Here's the difference there was an actual connection between those who broke in and the President's reelection committee, even though there was never any evidence that the, the actual break in was uh, known to or approved in advance by the president. Nonetheless, uh, they collected a million dollars. In this lawsuit, 
They have nothing. Nada. Zero. They have wild fantasies, conspiracy theories. Goosefer 2.0 is a Russian. Uh, forget the fact that Stone communicated with him six weeks after the WikiLeaks material on the DNC had already been published. Don't let the facts get in the way of a left-wing narrative. No, I think they have made an enormous mistake. I think your analysis uh, in terms of a card game is exactly right, Owen. They've left themselves open, wide open, to taking part the entire centerpiece of their bogus claim, that they were hacked, nonetheless, by the Russians. They're going to have to prove that in a court of law to win this suit, and it is unprovable, largely because there is no evidence of it, and it most likely never happened. I think that they are uh, in a, between a rock and a hard place. Well, and let's break this down, Roger, before we get to your calls in the next segment, which we're aggregating right now at 888-201-2244. Let's, let's think about this, Roger, because I can already tell you what's going to happen. What's going to happen is when they are taken to task on producing the servers to prove that they were hacked by Russians, the servers are going to be gone. Magically, they won't be there. They'll either be wiped clean of any evidence and data, or they'll literally be smashed to pieces. So you're never going to get those servers. The Democrats, and, but, but, but here's the thing. It doesn't matter. They know there was no Russian collusion. They know that these lawsuits are a total canard to begin with. So they already know that this is fake. They don't care. They never planned on having to show the servers anyway. They never planned on it getting there. This is all for show. This is all for publicity. This is all for the court of public opinion. But what's going to happen, Roger, is the rubber's going to meet the road. They're going to get called to task by yourself and your legal team representing you. They're going to get called to task by Don Jr.'s legal team. They're going to get called to task by the team of the Trump campaign. They're going to get called to task by WikiLeaks and Julian Assange. And then here's going to come the flop. And then here's going to come the river. And they're going to have 2-7 offsuit. Everyone else is going to win. Oh, but they're just going to pull out and they're going to say, oh, no, 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 no. We, we, we folded. We, we never were in here to begin with. We, we folded and the average liberal is going to totally buy it. They're not even going to understand that the very, they still, they, they won't give them any evidence of Russian collusion, and then the very evidence that they could provide that would be the only evidence, just one simple thing would be those servers, and they will not provide again. They will again leave their minions hung out to dry with no evidence for this Russian collusion theory that they've been spouting off about for two years. And the liberal madness will only increase from there, Roger. So that's how I see this thing going, because you're going to fight this. They cannot reveal that server because they know that the whole thing is made up to begin with. So the question now is really just, when do the Democrats get booted from the table? When, when do we finally just get these guys off the table? Well, sadly, there is one other question, Owen, and that is how many more hundreds of thousands of dollars is this going to cost me to fight? I already have to pay legal expenses associated with my four and a half hour appearance before the House Intelligence Committee, in which my testimony was both complete and entirely accurate, just in case you're listening, Adam Schiff. Uh, and then secondarily, we have the Senate Judiciary Committee, with whom I have agreed to cooperate turn over documents, potentially testify. The Senate Intelligence Committee, where at least Senator Warner has reeled back some of his rhetoric. He's not openly saying Roger Stone works for the Russians, as he once did, which, of course, would be actionable if he wasn't hiding behind his congressional immunity. So uh, this is getting to the point where my legal fees, uh, Owen, are approaching a million dollars. We've set up the Stone Defense Fund, Stone Defense Fund, for my friends to help. Uh, and frankly, fundraising uh, is uh, has to compete with all of the 2018 candidates. But this is both a, a, an attempt to destroy me financially, but more importantly, to distract me from being active in the fight to defend and save our president. Uh, that is, to me, the greatest danger. They don't want me. Uh, front and center when they try to remove our president through some bogus finding of procedural crime by Robert Mueller, which I still believe is coming and which I am prepared to resist with every fiber in my body. So uh, thanks for joining us here at the War Room. I hope you're queuing up on the phones for either Owen or myself. We will be right back. <laughs> 